And welcome back to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. Keith, summertime's... Well, by the time this airs, but it's probably summertime. It's summertime! Just about. Yes. And are, are, have you been uh, trying any, exci any exciting beers recently? No. No? None at all? No. Being a beer bro? No. No? Okay. <laughs> Okay, Keith. Uh, we got three beers in front of us. I'm ready to drink. It's been a long day. I'm uh, I'm quite thirsty. Are you? Yeah. Dude, come on, give me a little more. Okay. <laughs> what do we have first for us? We have banana bread beer by Wells. All right, banana bread beer. Is, that, is this a Hefeweizen? It's, it's a it's a banana, banana bread, bread beer. beer. <laughs> well, I know that Hefeweizen is usually have a, a semi. Uh, banana taste to it and, and aroma. So I was. Uh, this is brewed with bananas. Brewed with bananas. Okay. So it's not Whereas just. Whereas Hefeweizen's get the banana. Go from the other side. You need help? No, no, no I'm talking about like from. So. Hefeweizen's get theirs from the yeast. That's what it was, yeah. Whereas this gets it from bananas. Actual bananas, okay. Ooh, that's an interesting color. Uh, I, I was expecting more pale and yellow, uh, but this kind of looks like banana bread. Maybe that's why it got the name. From here, it kind of smells like banana bread. Let's see, you wanna give it a smell? Hmm, interesting, kind of... Bananas. Yeah, oh wow, I just got on that one, definitely. Okay, interesting, okay. cool, interesting, I'm really excited. Uh, you ready to drink this one? Yeah. All right, clinky, drinky, cheers. Tastes like bananas. Yeah, it really does. And it's a quite pleasant taste, actually. I, I was, I don't know what I was expecting from the name. I, I guess bananas, <laughs> but it, it's- Grape juice, uh, <laughs> raspberries, <Flamignon>. yeah. <laughs> Filet mignon, you got so, so classy with that. But no, um, I, I mean, I didn't know about the, uh, the texture of it is what I was trying to get to. It really is really smooth. It has a great banana taste to it. And just uh, the aroma is pretty fantastic. I'm gonna have one more. Uh, and it's not overbearing at all. It's just kind of a really smooth, delightful beer. Wow, that was, that was a great find. Have you ever had this before? Yes. Cool. I wonder why you brought it on the show. Well, well good job. Thank you for introducing it to me. It's, it's uh, quite delicious. Uh, do you have any other uh, notes on it? No, it's just one. It's just one of the more gimmicky ones that I've found, and thought that we should try. Well, I'm del delightfully surprised, and and uh, I enjoyed it. That for a gimmicky beer, that was pretty delicious. <laughs> and with that, then I think we're on to the second beer. <laughs> Banana burp. It wasn't the worst burp I've had. <laughs> oh, so, this this is timely. It is timely. You got a time. Dogzilla! Oh no! Ah! Yes, we have Dogzilla Black IPA. <laughs> All right, Dogzilla Black IPA. A black IPA? Uh, that'll be interesting. I, I mean, I can already taste the uh, the hops, you know, just thinking about it. Uh, but Black IPA, I'm kind of interested in what that means. Actually, I'm kind of curious. Are you excited about the, the new Godzilla movie coming out? You know, that came out. Let me ask, are you excited? Did you enjoy the Godzilla movie that came out? Meh. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> okay, so we have in front of us a, a dark IPA, which, uh, do you want to give it a smell and see what, see what we think? Mm -hmm. it smells like an IPA. It smells like an IPA, but there's a little dark side. It, it, it sounds really weird, and it's hard to explain unless you smell it yourself, but in my head afterwards, I'm like, oh yeah, that smells like a dark IPA. Like, even though I've never really, don't really know what the flavor's supposed to be. Hmm, there's something sort of fruity, too. Well, let's get to the bottom of it. <laughs> Cheers, clinky drinky. As IPAs go, I can drink that. Um, usually IPAs 
IPAs for us are too hoppy and too overbearing and in your face. Some people like that, some, uh, some people don't. We're just those kind of people who don't enjoy that. But given this is a IPA, it's a, the dark part of it. You having trouble? I'm not. Um, it's actually make it, making it a drinkable beer for me, and it's kind of delicious. Uh, it's uh, just a little bit smoother, kind of takes off the edge of it, mm -hmm. being a dark IPA. You got anything else uh, you want to add to that? No, it's good. Yeah, pretty good beer in general. Uh, would you drink it again? Yeah. Yeah. I said, I said yeah. <laughs> On to the third. <laughs> and we've got Hellfighter Imperial Porter by Carbach. Ah, Carbach, that's one of your favorite breweries, isn't it? Uh, it's one of the ones that we want to go to in more detail, right? I think so. I'm going to try that one. So, Carbach, they actually have a, don't they have a chain of restaurants as well? I don't know. I don't know. I think. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, I've got no clue about this. Hellfire Imperial Porter. Because... Far be it for me to do research before I come out here with beer. <laughs> I'd imagine this has a high ABV because of the imperial status. Yeah, I, I'm kind of getting myself psyched up for it. So, uh, yeah. good thing this is the last episode of the night. So, here we are. Clinky, drinky, cheers. Mmm. Not hot. No, I'm curious why it was called Hellfighter. But it's not, not so too it's hot. It's from the depths of the earth and blah, blah, blah. Okay, sure. <laughs> but uh, it has a has a nice full flavor to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it has that that porter thickness uh, of the texture, smoother than I expected to be honest with you for, for a name like Hellfighter. I, I'm still confused on why they named it that. So it's a uh, it's a full robust flavors to it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's certainly there. They're trying to go for like a chocolate maltiness, and I think that comes across in the texture for me. Uh, and a, the maltiness a little bit in the uh, flavor as well. And I <sighs> don't see any obvious ABV that's... Oh, we're talking to. Yeah. No ABV on it. Maybe there's no alcohol. Maybe. Maybe there's no, maybe there's no alcohol. Maybe there's, a, maybe there's no alcohol. Maybe there isn't any. <laughs> <laughs> you just have a seizure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just can't say alcohol. 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 Maybe there isn't any alcohol. I just kind of stumbled through it, but it with confidence. That's what it is. <laughs> so, uh, what do you think of it overall? It's uh, it's not bad. It's good. Yeah, it, it's... It'd be better if it had alcohol. <laughs> well, I'm going to get one more taste. It doesn't have, like, the, the, the full overtones of the Imperial, like I was expecting of the Porter. But there's a, a there's some finishing taste to it on the back of my tongue as it goes down. It, it, it's, it's a smoother Porter but still full flavored and uh, quite enjoyable for, for those probably the novice porter drinker. Really quite delicious. Um, mm -hmm. I'd I say really go out and get one of those beers. It's one of those, it's a unique so, so is that it? What, it's Chris's beer of the day. Well, yeah, you didn't say that. Oh, sorry. Will's banana bread beer is Chris's beer of the day. <laughs> no, it's really one, uh, it's, it's a unique, interesting beer. It's not something that I, I think I'd enjoy every night of the week, mm -hmm. but it, it's enough that, you know, you could share it with your friends, and I think everybody would enjoy it. It's just one of those delicious beers that... <clears throat> Ooh, even even the banana coming back up, it, it was what it was not the worst burp I've had, so... <laughs> really delicious, enjoyable beer. So, <laughs> on that note, beer bros out. Yeah, there may be some... <laughs> <laughs> So, banana red beer. That was interesting. I kind of mm -hmm. liked it. Did you? Uh, so you've had that before? Mm -hmm. Did you have like two bottles of that? Or no, I picked this up six months or a year ago. Maybe uh, age just right then. <laughs> Which you should not age banana bread for six months. <laughs> Beer's fine. Beer is delicious. <laughs>